The Holy Spirit Catholic School Division has a student enrollment of more than 4,300 students in its 13 schools throughout southern Alberta. Its mandate is to provide those students an education rooted in the Catholic faith. And its teachers are required to teach and model Catholic values in their schools and communities. We are living role models, symbols of our faith within our schools, and, and we need to understand how important that ministry is for us as Catholic educators. This year, Holy Spirit initiated a faith mentorship program for its new teachers and teachers new to the division. This was one of four sessions designed for teachers to come together, build relationships, discuss faith, and put into perspective what it means to be a Catholic educator in today's world. We're learning how to, I guess, like live out our faith walk in, um, in our school setting and with our students and to show that like, Catholic education is Catholic education for a reason and that it's not just like something that's passing, but it's like the core of why we do what we do. Brian McCulley is Deputy Superintendent of Holy Spirit Schools and Program Coordinator. It, it allows us to, to define the things that we want them to understand that, that permeate our schools and part of that is being able to express our faith. Not just within our schools but as educators taking that outside of our schools and into our community, into our parishes so that our, our students are having the exposure to the best possible Catholic education that we can give them. A presentation by Father Tim Boyle of All Saints Parish connected church to school. He highlighted the growing responsibilities teachers have in nurturing the growth and understanding of faith among students. Thirty-five years ago when I was first ordained I was in this area and if, if you looked around this area there would have been about 33 priests now in this area, 50 kilometers around Lethbridge, there's seven. So realistically, we are very limited in having that direct contact with, with young people. Although when, it, when it's possible, I and especially my associate, Father John Kohler, are, are eager to do that. So for me, it makes greater sense to try and in-service resource the leaders, make them comfortable with their faith, help them to have the tools to be able to share that faith, help them to feel confident and assured that they're doing the right thing because they're the ones who are working at the, at the front lines. A big part of this mentorship program is the faith portfolio. Essential to gaining permanent employment with the division, teachers fill their portfolios with examples of how they practice and exhibit their faith. So it, it shows things like um, being a part of the parish community, what faith looks like in our personal lives, um, and putting all of those things together to just really show a picture of what our faith is and how we can use that to help support our students. Well, I was born and raised Catholic, so I'm finding that now that I'm actually, again, teaching in a Catholic school, I'm finding that I'm still, I realize now that, despite the fact I've been going through being Catholic my whole life, I still realize I have a lot to learn. And uh, I'm, the more and more I go to these sessions, the more my understanding of being Catholic is growing. And, and even the more I'm teaching in the schools, the more I, my understanding of my faith is growing and becoming stronger. The Faith Mentorship Program offers teachers insight into what's expected from them as they begin careers in Catholic education. It provides an opportunity for Catholics and non-Catholic teachers to sort of get a glimpse as to what it is that Catholic schools are all about and do I want to be involved in Catholic education for an extended period of my career.